the total number of crackers y contained in x packages can be represented by the equation y equals 6x. Okay. Now it looks to me like I'm going to take x, the number of packages, and take it times 6 and I'll have the number of crackers. So it looks like each, each package has how many uh, crackers in it? 6? Now um, they want the best graph okay so we're gonna have four graphs all four in my opinion stink I'll show you why but we're gonna pick the best of the four and I, I wanna make mine look like the star test okay but let me, let me show you what I'm talking about y equals 6x now x is the number of packages we're gonna take that times 6 and we will have the number of crackers and then we'll represent that with an a um, ordered pair alright now we have one, we have zero packages, so I don't have any crackers. Okay, all right. Now with one package, I have what? Six crackers, don't I? And two packages, I have 12 crackers. Now the part that I don't like is that all four graphs contain a negative one on it. Now how can you have a negative one package? Give me a break. Anyway, if you had a negative one package, you would have a negative six crackers okay uh, the, the thing that saves it here it says which of the following graphs best represents so none of the graphs are right but one of them is better than the others okay alright because this whole scenario here it, how can you have a negative two packages if you do that take that times six you'll have negative twelve crackers it's just it's just ridiculous but this is what they do what they've come up with on their graphs alright so Let's graph these points. Zero, zero. Zero, zero is right here. All right. That's the point zero, zero. Where is one, six? One to the right. Now these go by two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So one is right here, right to the right of that, and you're going up to what? Six. That's the point one, six. One to the right, up six. Now two, twelve. Two, twelve. If you're going 2 to the right and you're going up 12, that's this point. Okay? And now we have to go 1 to the left. 1 to the left and down 6. Okay? That's negative 1, 6. And negative 2 going down to this point down here, negative 12. So that gives me these two points. Like I said, to me, these two points shouldn't even be on the graph. But this is my graph here. This is, this is the graph we should have. We have a slope of 6. Remember the point 2, 12, 0, 0, and negative 2, negative 12. Of the four choices, this definitely, you, you have a point 0, 4. That's, that's definitely out, okay? Uh, here you have 0, 0, but I have um, 6, 2. That doesn't look like the right graph, does it? Okay? This has a slope of 1 sixth. We're going up 1 and over 6. Okay? And then this one here. Remember we have 2, 12, and negative 2, negative 12. So this is the right graph. Okay, Of the four, we'd have to pick this one. Like I say, I don't like these negative values for this, but of the four, this is the best pick. They have one more where they're going over 2 and up to, to 16. Over 2 and up to 16, not up to 12. It was 2, 12 was the right one, which is which is H, 2, 12. So of the four graphs here, we, we wouldn't pick F, G, we would pick H, but we wouldn't pick J. So we're left with H being the, the four graphs, the, the graph that's the best of the four.